Good morning. It is great to have the day off today. Enjoying the snow and we are able to recover from Purim and losing an hour of sleep this past Saturday night. I want to share with you a short important Dvar Torah and then ask a question and all those who give a nice response will receive a small prize. The Dvar Torah is the following. The Parsha is called Kitisa, when you count. The problem? That's not the word for counting. Counting is Lispor, Limnot. Kitisa, when you count? I was taught a most beautiful response. The word Tisa also means to elevate, like Nisiat Kapayim lifting up one's hands. When we count people, we don't consider them just a number, but rather we want to elevate them and say that each and every person is important for a very special reason. So when we need a count, we want to make sure Kitisa, when we elevate that person. And then now, a short question. The end of the parsha tells us that when Moshe came down from Har Sinai after the second set of Luchot, his face was shining. Hikaran or Panav. His face had a shine, so much so that he needed a masveh, some covering, some mask. It sounds like he's the new and improved Moshe. After the sin of the Egel Azahav of the Golden Calf, Moshe Rabbeinu is a better person than he was beforehand. It sounds like it was worthwhile that Bnei Israel did a sin because now they have a better Moshe Rabbeinu. I think we could ask the same question in regards to Purim. If Bnei Israel never did the Averot that led to Haman having the power to issue the harsh decree, then Haman would not have threatened us and we would never have a Purim. It sounds like it's better that Bnei Yisrael did the Averot and then did the Tshuva because now we have a Purim to celebrate. My question is, really? Are you serious? Hashem wants us to first do Averot so that we could do Tshuva and then we could celebrate and be better off? Does that make any sense to you? I'd love to hear your answers. Have an amazing snow day. See you tomorrow.